Hello everyone, I'm Juan Antonio Cambuno, name 8111-419-256. Today's video is about Pelican Crossing in Indonesia. Have the rights for the pedestrian been fulfilled? Traffic accidents in Jakarta deserve serious attention. These accidents can be caused by violations of road users, road facilities, and infrastructure. This can be seen from the number of traffic accidents which continues to increase every year. Based on WHO data, deaths from the traffic accidents experienced by pedestrians occupy a percentage of 27%. While domestically, the number of accidents with pedestrians has a fairly high percentage of around 30% in 2013. Meanwhile, more than 500 people died from 6,231 accidents that occurred in Jakarta throughout 2015. Walking is often considered not a mode of transportation. Many pedestrian facilities such as sidewalks and crossings are not prepared by the central government and local governments. Even pedestrians with disabilities in using sidewalks roads and crossings often experience difficulties. There are several traffic lights added at several points in Jakarta such as East Jakarta which are intended for pedestrians to cross the road. However, the traffic light facilities that have been built are not complete, so this is a danger to pedestrians. Therefore, the Jakarta Provincial Transportation Service provides Pelican Crossing at several vulnerable areas, with the aim that pedestrians can cross safely and comfortably. Pelican Crossing is a traffic light for pedestrians who will cross the road. This crosswalk light has two colors, namely red as a sign not to cross and green light to be allowed to cross. The manufacture of Pelican Crossings has become a major concern for the community because the use of Pelican Crossings is beneficial for pedestrians. Technically, the operation of the Pelican Crossings is very easy and is expected to support traffic safety. Pelican Crossing is one type of pedestrian crossing according to the regulation of the Directorate General of Highways, number 011 slash T slash BT slash 1995 on methods of planning for pedestrian facilities in urban areas. But in fact, the facility is not used as it functions. Pedestrians do not use the facility when crossing. The ineffectiveness of the existence of Pelican Crossing at a number of areas in Jakarta is due to the lack of socialization from the Department of Transportation. This is because it is rare to provide a direct understanding of the work system and its functions to the community, so many pedestrians still do not know how to use the Pelican Crossing. So, is Pelican Crossing effective enough? In fact, the addition of Pelican Crossing is not that effective in providing easy access to pedestrians. There are several reasons why this is not fully effective. First. There are no warning signs for traffic lights to road users. Moreover, the sign is mostly covered by trees. Second, road users who have passed the road where there are traffic lights do not yet have a strong awareness of pedestrians who want to pass, so they break through even though the light says red. Third, there is no CCTV around the traffic lights. Even though this is intended for various positive things such as monitoring by officers, further research to provide creative and safety solutions, and as long as strong legal evidence in the event of an accident. Fourth, socialization to the community, especially to road users and pedestrians, is still minimal. So this is still being ignored until now. Fifth, it can be seen that the budget provided by the government is very small. Therefore, the amount of detail supplied for the facilities is not enough. For those who do not follow these rules, they will be punished in accordance with Article 287, Paragraph 5, 
which states that every driver who violates the speed limit rules is at most the highest or the lowest, shall be sentenced to a maximum imprisonment of two months or a maximum fine of 500,000 rupiah. The rights and obligations of pedestrians are also regulated in Law No. 22, Year 2009, concerning road traffic and transportation. Article 131 regulates the rights of pedestrians, namely, Paragraph 1 stated that pedestrians have the right to the availability of supporting facilities in the form of sidewalks, crossings, and other facilities. Paragraph 2 stated that pedestrians have the right to get priority when crossing the road at the crossing. Paragraph 3 stated that in the event that the facilities are as intended in paragraph 1, pedestrians have the right to cross at the chosen place by paying attention to their safety. In Article 235 paragraphs 1 and 2 concerning traffic and road transport, mentioned that victims due to traffic accidents as referred to in article 229 paragraph 1 letters b and c drivers owners and or public transportation companies are obliged to provide assistance to victims in the form of medical expenses the government's role in protecting pedestrian victims is also stated in article 239 that the government develops a traffic accident insurance program and road transportation by establishing a state insurance company in the transportation sector named PT Jasa Raharjo Prasero. PT Jasa Raharja is an insurance institution that runs a social insurance program, namely managing and implementing the Passenger Accident Compulsory Insurance Fund as regulated in law number 33 year 1964 as well as managing and implementing the road traffic accident compulsory fund as regulated in law number 34 year 1964 the amount of compensation that is entitled to be received by pedestrians when crossing a pelican crossing but is hit by a motorized vehicle that does not stop depends on the risk experienced. If the pedestrian victim dies, the government has the right to give 50 million rupiah to the victim's heirs. If the deceased does not have any heirs, then the funeral arrangements are given in the amount of 4 million rupiah. Meanwhile, referring to government regulation number 18 year 1965 concerning provisions for the implementation of the road traffic accident fund if the victim has permanent disability related to arms legs eyesight or reason the amount of received is the same as the death of the victim if permanent disability affects part of the body the victim is entitled to receive compensation in which the amount of compensation is calculated according to the percentage of compensation for the victim who died the incident of neglect of pedestrian rights that continues to occur, the government should respond to by making efforts to increase the obedience of vehicle users to comply with pedestrian rights. The forms of supervision that can be carried out among others are first, placing a sign on every sidewalk, pelican crossing, and zebra cross in order to give or comply with pedestrians' rights. Second, Using CCTV at zebra cross, sidewalks, pelican crossing, and other roads in general to observe motorized vehicle users who do not comply with pedestrian rights. And last, giving sanctions or warnings to motorized vehicle users if they violate the rights of pedestrians, whether seen directly by officers or observed through CCTV. Government in implementing Pelican Crossing must meet several general principles, namely, first, continuous. Pedestrian facilities must be continuous, direct, and straight to the destination. Second, safe. Pedestrians must feel safe while walking, both in their own lane and in conjunction with other traffic network systems. 
Third, comfortable. The surface of the pedestrian facilities must be flat, dry, and not slippery when it rains. White enough. The slope is as small as possible, and if needed, comfortable facilities may be provided. And last, easy and clear. Pedestrian facilities must be easily and quickly recognized. The government needs to make improvements and supervision for the comfort and safety of pedestrians because pedestrians are part of road traffic users who are entitled to good public services. The government also needs to socialize to comply with pedestrian rights in various ways, especially through social media, mass media, and direct appeals. The fulfillment of pedestrian rights is one of the displays that can show how civilized and cultured we are as a highly civilized society. Thank you.